You probably clicked on this video because you want to know what coding is, what you can do with it, and all of that stuff. And if that is why you clicked on this video, you've made it to the right place because I'm going to explain to you from the perspective of someone who does code what the um, what that world is like. You're still trying to figure it out. Um, so in this video, we're going to cover uh, basically what coding is, why you would want to learn how to code, um, and then also some first projects that you could take on. <clears throat> so what is coding? Well, coding is basically when you type on a keyboard all day long and you're typing and telling the computer what to do. And a lot of people uh, choose, and, and there's a lot of different kinds of, uh, of coding that you can do. Some people actually type in commands to the computer that interact with the specific hardware of that computer. Those are low level languages. Other ones are more higher level, like it's code that's specifically designed to, uh, to build websites with. Uh, and there's a lot of different varieties of code that are lo low level and high level. I am someone who codes at a pretty high level compared to some languages. Um, I don't interact directly with the hardware most of the time. Usually when I'm coding something, it has to do with uh, web development and websites. So that type of code would be kind of considered high level code. So you're telling the computer what to do, how to act, and that's, that's basically the job is uh, creating systems and processes where when the, the person interacts with the computer, the computer knows what to do with what, what the person uh, interacts with. <clears throat> so that's kind of what coding is. And l let's talk about why you would want to learn how to code. The, I can explain to you the reason I started learning how to code, and that is because there's a couple of reasons. If I'm being honest, uh, the first number one reason is that I heard that people that know how to code can make a decent wage, a good living. And, uh, you know, whether that's still true or not in this economy, I mean, who knows? It's hard to say. Um, but that's one of the major reasons that a lot of people start learning how to code is because it's, it's a relatively high wage compared to some other skills or crafts out there. Um, another thing is, is that I would try to put websites up for people in the past, having never coded before. Um, and there are tools to be able to do that as a non-coder, but I felt limited in what I was able to do for someone because... So with that, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and uh, just leave a comment down in the uh, down in the comment section. I you know small YouTube channel right now, so there's not really too many um, dabbled in a lot of different programming languages. Um, the, one of the decisions that you have to make is what is the best programming language to get started in, and and you might be scared to pick one because you don't know which uh, which programming languages are are going to be good in the future and let me give you some advice having done this for a while the language that you pick doesn't matter that much because you're going to learn a lot of languages throughout your entire career languages come and go they they come in and out of favor with uh with people and uh, the community so you know don't dwell on that too much um, what you really want to dwell on is learning the concepts and there's things like variables functions classes objects those kinds of things those concepts that are they transcend basically every programming language so it's important to learn the concepts 
And then the languages is basically just syntax. It's grammar, you know. Um, so when you pick a language, I suggest that you pick one that's fairly easy to learn um, because the you're going to learn a lot of languages. The most important things are the concepts. So pick uh, pick a language that's that's relatively simple. M one of my suggestions is uh, PHP, obviously, um, and Python because they're they're easy to wrap your head around compared to some other languages. So you know, pick pick one. Don't dwell it on too much. Don't dwell on it too much. You will learn multiple languages. You're not going to be a one-trick pony. Um, once you get the concepts down, you'll be able to transition from language to language. I, uh, just a short little story, I had learned PHP, and that was the only language that I knew. And I had a friend who was trying to learn Python, and he he asked me, hey, you do some coding, right? Um, I'm having this error that keeps coming up, and I don't know how to fix it. And I took a look at the code, and I had never really stared at Python that much. And I was able to identify the issue that he was having and how to fix it because I, I understood the concepts. Um, and, and that's why I say don't dwell on the language too much because you will... Uh, you will learn lots of different languages. It's just uh, it's just a fact. So, you know, pick Python, pick PHP. Um, obviously, if you're going to be working in the the web development space, um, you're going to want to learn uh, CSS and HTML as like your foundation. Learn those first, and then pick up some JavaScript after that, and some and then lastly learn PHP and those between those four things you're going to have basically everything that you need in order to build a website if you're you're doing web development um, so you, you know the best way to learn is to build projects so come up with some ideas of some projects that you want to build, some problems that you're trying to solve. One of the problems that I was trying to solve early on is I was trying to, uh, my wife had a photography business and she needed uh, a way to collect signatures from, uh, from her clients so that they could sign contracts. And I built just a small little app that did that and it, it did it in a, a pretty cool way, a pretty user-friendly way. And that is, it's a very fun world to be in when you're learning how to code. And I, I love it. It's, to me, I mean, everybody's got their own things that they really, really like to do. Um, some people enjoy acting, some people enjoy singing, or whatever it is. And, uh, and you know, all of that being said, I, I didn't have full control like the person who made the website building package they m made it with certain functionality and things like that where you know you could only do certain things or the types of things that you could do had to be done a certain way and that is um, that's something that I wanted to be able to overcome I wanted to be able to do lots of different things and when I started learning how to code, I realized I could do anything. Like, once you start learning the basics of it, you realize the full power of what learning to code can do for you. You can, you can literally do anything. The, the possibilities are endless. Um, it's only limited by your imagination and, uh, and computing power. I mean, think about it. There's companies like Boston Dynamics that have... Um, they have people who code and tell robots what to do and how to think. And these robots are, you know, extremely sophisticated. If you haven't seen them, look them up. They're very advanced. And, and that's why I say the possibilities are limitless is because for, you know, a long time, mankind has kind of mastered our physical world. We know how to make machines, but now with... Uh, the ability to code software um, we're actually telling these machines how to think and that's like really cool there's a lot there and 
the possibilities are are completely limitless. It's just left up to your imagination. And that's one of the things that uh, it really fascinated me. And it's really true. The, the sky's the limit. You can do anything you want. Um, so that's, you know, kind of the reason why you would want to learn how to code. Um, so how do you get started? How do you, how do you, um, start creating your first projects well first um, too many comments that I get so if you do leave a comment I definitely will reply to it and ask me questions I love uh, love talking to people so um, yeah if you enjoyed this content please tune in tomorrow for another video and I will check uh, I will see you guys tomorrow as someone who has you know you've got to have problems like that that you're trying to solve there's lots of different things that people like, and I like to code. And I think that uh, if that's something that is interesting to you, you should definitely try it because it is a lot of fun.